A split week for the Wisconsin Badgers, a split week for the very high scoring Wisconsin Badgers, falling for the first time in Big Ten play at Penn State on Tuesday night, 87 to 83. And then on the home floor Friday, Wisconsin hangs 91 on Indiana in a 91-79 win. We'll have highlights from the two games this week. We'll have our weekly sit down with head coach Greg Gard, and we'll also chat with Max Klesman, who is riding a rather hot hand of late. All coming up on this week's edition of the Badgers Sports Report. AJ kills the dribble, loops it left elbow for Crow, spins it out to Chucky. Three shot left side, good. Chucky Hepburn wasting no time getting into the scoring call. Gilmore throws to McGee. Mari leads it for Winter, a flip for AJ Storm. Long three, right side, good. The Badgers take the lead, 11 to 10. Will hand off to Store, Store against Ibaco. Now Nolan Winter high on the right. He'll leave it for Blackwell, right wing with a shot pick. Now works the baseline, reverse layup, good, going right to left. Whoa, the freshman playing much older yet again. Throws it to Hepburn, right corner, Chucky. I guess Gabe comes back and feeds Max for three, right corner, book it. Plesman is second three of the game, 46-33, Wisconsin. DJ sends it off to Hepburn. Pass fake left. Chucky now throws left side for Klesman. Loops it into Crowell, left of the lane. Crowell against Peyton Sparks. Back out the max. Another three on the way. Got it. Uh-oh. He's getting hot. Chucky at the top. Sends to Klesman, who feeds Crowell. Right of the lane. Ten on the shot clock. Sparks defending the double from Galloway. Turning baseline as Crowell. Feeds Max. Flips a three. Right side. Good. Max Klesman is fourth three of the game. He baseline left will inbound, throws it into Stevie, left side, now to Max, another three. Got it! And one! Max Klesman continues with the hot hand. Xavier Johnson now will be trying to check Klesman, who has the ball right now. Max left hand dribble to the free throw line, Klesman in the lane, puts it up, good! Count it, and a foul! Oh my god! Goodness, Max Klesman, the heater continues. The lead for new, knocked away by Klesman into the hands of Gilmore. 59-44, Wisconsin with 13-12 remaining. Here comes Max to the line, down the lane, to the rim, up. Yes, sir! He cannot miss! He can do nothing wrong right now. Badgers on the run. Blackwell to the front court, slows it down. Max steps into a three. Nope, he'll throw it to Gilmore! Way up good! My goodness! doing what's ever asked for me each and every night, whether that's, you know, running around chasing a shooter, best player, um, you know, helping out a little bit offensively, just, you know, trying to play my role and do whatever's asked of me. It's really easy to find Max, you know, he moves so well without the ball, you know, like he said, I, I was dribbling back down and I just hear him calling and he's wide open in the corner, so it's easy to find him. He's, he's, he's so easy to play with, you know, I love playing with Max. Uh, when he's feeling hot like that, you know, he doesn't even have to say anything. I know to give him the ball. So uh, I love playing with Max. You know, I love playing with everybody on this team, and who, I think we have a great potential. You didn't realize that you had dropped 20 straight points? No. I, re I really do not look at, like, the <laughs> individual <laughs> spot in the scoreboard. Yeah, it's real. It, it gets everybody hyped, man. Uh, we love to see it. You know, it, it could be any guy on the, any different night. The past couple of nights has been uh, Max. So, you know, we love to see that from Max. We love the confidence that he's really got going right now. And, um, you know, if we can keep that for everybody, you know, we're going to be a really tough team to beat down the stretch. Just really care about winning the game. Uh, almost kind of let it slip and get it into single digits there at the end. So, you know, just taking care of it, playing the full 40 minutes of the game. Uh, Kind of got a little lackadaisical, lackadaisical there in the second half as a team defensively gave up a lot of points, but you know, moving forward, some will be better. This is Wisconsin basketball, and Wall with a steal. Tyler with the pimp, down the lane, slam dunk. Three on one, flips the store down the lane, and he hammers it with the right hand. With two, Hepper down, off the glass, off the glass. He slips it in the crowd, low on the left, slam dunk. Another three point hit for Connor is Seijin. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com.
and by Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Gruber Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus, designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just a price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. These are operating engineers. They operate top of the line innovative machines and build stuff that matters. And operating engineers are well paid. They even get paid to train. As an apprentice, you can make $56,000 a year from day one during training. No school loans and no debt. When your training is complete, you'll have a stable career job that is high skill, high tech, and high pay. We need operating engineers right now. Your future can begin today. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Gruber Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. Ball throwing the store high on the right. Beats Crowell between the arcs. Sends it back to AJ. Store at the top of the circle. He'll take the three. He'll hit the three from straight away. Boyle screen. Walt gets him on a switch and throw to Hicks. He'll leave it for Kern, swoops off the right wing, goes behind him, back to the shot, blocked inside by Hilbert. Now Blackwell, lead feed to A.J. to the rim, slam dunk. A.J. Store, the two-hand jam. Going to Store, A.J. at the top. Out of Ilver, high on the left, takes the three, makes the three. Yes, sir, Marcus Ilver helping his team in this first half. Badgers down by two. Screen to the right side, goes behind the back on the dribble. Across the free throw line, leads it for Hicks. Knocked away, stolen by Chucky Hepburn. The pilfer for Hepburn. A lob in the store, slam dunk low on the left. What a pass by Hepburn to A.J. Store for the flush. Chucky sets the floor to the free throw line. Finds Blackwell for three, left corner, it's good. Blackwell with 11, 63 to 60, Penn State. Six minutes to play, 68-65, Penn State. 15 points, 10 boards for Stevie. Pepper goes to Crow inside, slam dunk. Steven Crow, Badgers within one. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. We believe in financial security for Wisconsin public school employees and their families. WEA member benefits, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. WEABenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked Mommy where it comes from, and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and, most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey. I had big dreams. Then I got sick. UW Health made it their mission to give me a fresh start and a new kidney. Now my dreams are infinite. UW Health. Remarkable. Talked a lot through the years about the leadership on the Wisconsin basketball program. This program has been blessed with a lot of guys who know what that's all about. And more of the same this year as we visit with Badgers head coach Greg Gard. I know you, you've talked about you know guys like Chucky who's starting to emerge there. Tyler Wall, you know, can be more vocal. You got a pretty good group in that regard right now, don't you? We do, we do. And I, I've always felt leadership is organic. I, I think you can't force it upon somebody because. Everybody leads and everybody we've had here over the years um, 
leads in different ways. Some do it vocally, some do it by how they prepare and their, their work that teammates get to see every day. So, uh, and again, you have to want that position and it's not something like I said, you, you have to grow it. Some come by it naturally, some have to really work at it to, to become comfortable in that role. I was talking with Max Klesman about that. Even in one of the early season practices, it was interesting just watching him take a younger player to the side and just kind of, you know, giving him some pointers, teaching points, whatever, whatever drill you were doing. The first year is a transfer. You know, maybe you laid back in that regard a little bit, but he seems one of those kind of natural guys. He can show the toughness and just kind of knows what to say. To yeah, him. and I think that's taken a while for Max to get to that point. I think last year with the transfer, just it was a matter of, I think, convincing himself, first of all, that he belonged at this level, that he could see, succeed at this level. Because you can't, you can't lead and, and tell other guys how to do it and why to do it if you're not doing it yourself. So I think for him, it took some convincing for his confidence to grow that, hey, he belonged here and he was a really good player here. And then I've watched his voice kind of on the back half of last year really come to the forefront. Yeah, it's been interesting. You can, I think, you know, Badger fans could probably pick out some guys in recent years. If it was a Brad Davison, for instance, um, and any number of others. Have you had some players come through here in your time who, you know, the first couple of years, you, just, you didn't know if that was really part of the of that guy's DNA. Right. And all of a sudden, like, whoa, as the third year, fourth year, like, boy, this guy's really, yeah, he is. He is one of those that everybody turns to. Yeah, I, I think, it, like I said before, it really comes in different ways. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Brad, I think, um, when he was in a baby crib, was probably <laughs> leading in some way, shape, or form. So Team that captain of the kindergarten thing. Yeah, exactly. And all that that completely so sure. natural. <laughs> and I think other guys have, and it's a lot on who you're with in your class and who's on the team uh, at that certain time. Josh Gosser comes to mind. Man, man didn't say if a lot, um, but when he did, it was like E.F. Hutton. Everybody listened. Um, so it was, it, it's just everybody's a little bit different. Some do it more by how they play. I think Tyler is probably more in that, like, more by example of how you play and how you perform every day. Um, so, like I said, we can we'll take leadership in any which way. Uh, our younger guys, so we've had some walk-ons that don't play very much that have done a really good job of, of just voicing things. Uh, Tanner Bronson, for an example, he now is in, in coaching, have, have found a way to impact the team and, and lead. Um, you know, when the, maybe they weren't the star. Everybody thinks you have to be the star of center stage, bright lights, and you really don't. You just have to be able to relate and communicate and, and get people to really trust you and respect what you're saying. You know, we talked a couple weeks ago about how the semester break is a great time for, for basketball players, specific to this show, because the, the pressures of school are alleviated for the time being. But you're also entering a time where it could be when you get to late January where – everybody's hurting a little bit you get a little tired you got a long season ahead so you guys as coaches do what you need to do but those leaders really kind of help out too because your practices are ultra competitive given right. the depth that you have but what those guys say they do well. they do and I think they recognize you know when when you have a misstep or in and, and the season is going to have ebbs and flows so there's going to be times where leadership needs to really step up and there's other times when you're on kind of autopilot so and I think having leadership and those team building kind of things come together um, outside of the practice court here or outside of the Cole Center where we can see each other in different lights. And that, that allows, I think, that whole communication and trust and relationships to build, which makes leadership much easier. The beauty of this team, just watching it from an arm's length, is that these guys do seem to get along really well. I think you've had many, many teams doing that. You mentioned the Gosser team. You know, that was a, a team full of big personalities, and right. yet they, they got along great. That, when you're going through the ups and downs of the season, if it's, you know, travel issues, weather, whatever, where you're together in, a tight, in tight quarters for long periods of time, the fact that they get along really well, that chemistry can go a long way. It is, it is. The, the biggest arguments I run into when I walk in the locker room is who's the best video gamer. That's, that's, <laughs> it's nothing about basketball. It's about who's trying to wear the crown. Uh, so to speak, in, in terms of video game. And they all have, based on what they're going to play, they all have different opinions. But um, it, it's good to see them, like I said, have uh, have other topics to discuss and, and be able to, you know, hand it out and take it uh, at all at the same time. So it sounds like a topic for us. You have to, I don't, I don't know who really would be the leader in the clubhouse there. <laughs> you might volunteer. get 18 different opinions. Exactly, right? absolutely. Uh, that's fun. You got to gotta keep it fun here. This is obviously a very good basketball team, but uh, you need to get into the – 
the doldrums of winter, you got to be able to have a laugh, and this team's pretty good at doing just that. We'll take a break. We'll have more as we continue with the Badger Sports Report. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just a price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. WEA member benefits dedicated to helping Wisconsin public school employees become financially secure with programs designed for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. Well, if you've played any kind of uh, sport, sometimes you know what it's like when you're really hot. And if it's baseball, where the baseball can feel like it's a grapefruit and you're just everywhere you make a contact, it's going to find a hole or in basketball. Every shot's going to go. Now, only a select few get to do it on higher levels, and with that, we visit with Max Klesman, who would be one of those on a higher level who got who has been on a roll, and we have, we've seen this before. Um, so what's that like? Give us an idea, as if it was the Marquette game, second half Ohio State against the Northwestern game. When the ball leaves your hands, you feel like it's almost automatic. It's going down when you're in a rhythm like you have been in here for this team. For sure, I think it's safe to say that, you know, once you kind of get it in a groove, in a rhythm, uh, the confidence goes up drastically. But I think that's just kind of a credit to the guys we got in here, you know, the confidence they give me, uh, the work that we've put in this offseason, and, you know, just in preparation of the work is going to work. You just got to keep putting it in, keep believing in it. Your teammates believe in you, the coaches all believe in you. So um, it's, it's a little bit easier to shoot it with confidence when you got – all those yeah. guys in your corner pulling for you. Yeah, there really is a selflessness here. If it's you, if it's anybody who's carrying, who, who has the hot hand, this is a smart team. It's kind of common sense, but you guys have a lot of that where, hey, this guy's hot. Let's get him the ball where he wants it, right? For sure. Like you said, you know, we got a ton of guys on the roster, on the team here, any given night that can explode for a certain amount of points or, you know, make an impact on, different, on the defensive end of the floor. Mm -hmm. Um, like I said before, Cam comes in and gives us great sparks for the bench uh, in terms of defense, and you know, Cotton can come in and light it up as well. So just having different tools and pieces like that helps. And speaking of tools, just the, the, the tweaks offensively, the things that you're doing that are a little bit different than, than in the past. We could get in the weeds here or just speak more in general terms. Um, it seems like it's just kind of been in the wheelhouse of people from Chucky of, of what to do with the basketball. Did you feel like this was something when it was introduced that, like, okay, this this might click pretty quickly here for us? Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, just getting together in the summer, um, keeping at it, working at it for a good amount of the time, uh, we realized how dangerous this could be, you know, if we put the trust into the coaches, into the game plan that it's going to work. You know, it's just going to take a little time, take a little, you know, togetherness with, you know, guys coming in like AJ and John, Nolan, things like that. Um, just getting a feel for one another of how it's going to work. But, you know, I think with the work that we've put in with it, you know, the time we've given it, the patience, and just the listening ability that we've had with the coaches and being able to relate to one another and, you know, have conversations that go back and forth, which are super healthy, mm -hmm. it's been super helpful so far in getting it to work. And yet Coach Guard will always with you, even in, in the games where you scored a lot, We'll go to the heel, talk about the other end of the floor where what you've been able to do, especially in the second half of games against really prolific scores. I mean, I know it's whatever it takes, but the defensive end is something you've always had a lot of pride in, right? For sure. Yeah, like you said, you know, my dad instilled at me at a young age how important the other side of the floor, the defensive side, that's in terms of speaking of, uh, how important that is. Just can't be one dimensional out there. You got to be able to guard your yard, be in the right spots defensively, and then, you know, gang rebound, as we like to call it, and be able to come back and push the tempo on offense. But I think it's just 
you know, credit to the game plan, uh, all the work that we put in prior to the games that just make it a little bit easier for you once you get out there and you're playing. Uh, and that's just a credit to, you know, once again, the guys that I'm playing with on the floor and the game plan that the coaches are giving us. Yeah, this is as we speak, there's still quite a ways to go in the conference season, but the, the Wisconsin Badgers, as we speak, are right smack in the thick of it all here. So this gets, this gets fun now, but do you know, I mean, games are always intense, but as you get deeper and deeper in the season, is it even more so you really got to get yourself ready for what's next? Yeah, I think you can definitely feel it as, you know, as the season progresses. Um, like I say, you just try to you keep it one game at a time, you know, one possession at a time. Uh, don't take anything for granted in this league, you know. But it's hard when, you know, you know everybody's going to give you their best shot when you're sitting, you know, wherever you're sitting in the league. And, um, it's easy to be able to, you know, be like, we need this team to win. Oh, we need this team to win, or you know, we can't lose this game. But with this squad, I think we've really been able to take in the mentality of, you know, one game at a time, one practice at a time, whatever we got to do, let's just be the best possible version of ourselves today. And you know, I think we've done a good job of that so far. That's one thing that's been interesting, just to be being around you guys after games. After games are done, it, you kind of take notice of what. You, if, if they're scoreboard watching, it's after the game. Right. So let's see what happens. And it's not just in conference, right? It's out of conference games that you played. You guys really keep in tune with all that stuff, don't you? For sure, yeah. You know, I think we just got a ton of basketball junkies on the team as well in general. Uh, you can walk into the locker room pretty much at any given point. There's going to be about three, four, or five guys in there. Maybe it's playing PS5, watching some college games, NBA games that might be on. But um, I just think that's a credit to how much everybody's really bought into, you know, the program and us, the team right now. Uh, everybody's got a team mentality. Uh, everybody's willing to put their brothers first before themselves. So I think, you know, we just keep that same approach here. Um, we're going to be all right. Yeah, and you mentioned that after the after the Northwestern game, it struck me when you were uh, being interviewed by the, by the media here at the Kohl Center, you made the point to say, look, I don't care how much I play. It's about what the score is in the end. That's legit, right? Yeah. That, that is absolutely how you feel. 100%, yeah. Like, if you know me, I'd say, like, the, the only thing I really care about is winning and, and losing at the end of the day. Uh, you know, like I said back in that interview or the press conference, it could be 30 seconds, 30 minutes, 30 milliseconds. It doesn't matter, like, if the Wisconsin Badgers have more points than the opposing team at the end of the day. That's what that's what we're looking for. That's what we're striving to be. So, um, And everybody's got that same approach and mentality. That's not just me. You know, I know. Guys have had to sacrifice a lot this year just to put ourselves in positions for who we want to be and where we want to be at the end. So uh, just a credit to how we're all bought in right now. All right, a final note, lighter note. Um, you know, there is the selflessness, and then there is the, you know, the competitive edge in video games. <laughs> and I've, sources tell us that you have declared yourself the champ of, uh, like, the video game <laughs> guy on the team. Is that true? No, that is definitely true. Um, <laughs> I, I know I do like to toot my own horn, but I think other guys can vouch for me. And if other guys can't, they're lying because we can go play any game in the locker room and everybody knows the deal. So, but no, I think it's just all our competitiveness coming out with one another. Uh, whatever we do, we're going to compete in it. If it's video games, if it's chess, basketball, it doesn't matter. We're going to we're going to get after it. So so any any kind of uh, hint that Connor Siegen might be the best would be false? Is that what you're saying? <sighs> that might be the biggest one that's false. He, he, <laughs> he could might possibly be the worst video gamer we got on the team, but he's, he's a good Fortnite player. I will give him that. Good uh, Fortnite player. There you go. Now you know. He's Max Klesman. We'll take a break. More to come as we continue with the Badger Sports Report. I had big dreams. Then I got sick. UW Health made it their mission to give me a fresh start and a new kidney. Now my dreams are infinite. UW Health. Remarkable. These are operating engineers. They operate top-of-the-line innovative machines and build stuff that matters. And operating engineers are well paid. They even get paid to train. As an apprentice, you can make $56,000 a year from day one during training. No school loans and no debt. When your training is complete, you'll have a stable career job that is high skill, high tech, and high pay. We need operating engineers right now. Your future can begin today. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. 
The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com And by Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. It's back on the road for the Badgers on Tuesday night. They make the trip up to the barn, Williams Arena, for a 6 o'clock tip against the Minnesota Golden Gophers. And it's right back here at the Kohl Center on Friday night for a 7 o'clock tip against the Michigan State Spartans as the Badgers go for the regular season sweep of that series. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. This has been a presentation from Learfield. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus. Designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey.